very nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. So remember we last chatted uh, was in when you were in Minnesota or started turning the drum. So fast forward a few weeks later, um, something big happened. So uh, you made a discovery. So can you tell us more about that for sure? Sure. When we spoke last time, I was at the drill rig. I was a little bit hairier than I am now, so it was uh, it was good. But uh, now it's uh, the 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 hole's been completed. So the jet stream number one appraisal well. So where we were drilling uh, about fifty feet away from the original discovery that flowed that ten and a half percent helium. So uh, no, the, the drill was successful. Really happy with it. So well, for starters, the, the team did an excellent job. Um, no safety issues. Everything went swimmingly. Uh, we went down and uh, we exceeded the depth of the original discovery hole. So we got down to 2,200 feet. And yay, we hit gas down there as well. So we got some uh, live real-time gas results uh, from equipment at the rig. And then what we announced yesterday is that we got some samples and we sent those off to two different laboratories. Uh, and uh, for those ones, uh, they came back and we were getting helium results of up to 13.8% helium, which is just a, a mind-bogglingly large number and we're extremely happy with. And really to give it some sort of you know context, what does 13.8% mean? Is that uh, look anything that's over zero point three percent is regarded as being you know potentially significant. Uh, we know people going to production with half a percent helium, and now to get that thirteen point eight percent is just a dream come true to be honest, Gilbert. So you know now it's um, you know we we uh, successful. We replicated that original discovery, and now what we're doing is just extracting as much data out of the well as we can. Uh, so we've got a bit more news to come soon. One is what's the, the downhole wireline data. So basically telling you things like reservoir thickness, porosity. Uh, and then the next one is uh, to do the, the pressure testing and the flow testing, uh, which will then help us with the, the volumetrics of it. And then all that information will go off to an independent resource calculator for a resource update. So lots happening. Very busy. Indeed. So... So what really is, is the potential of this, this well here? Because your share price obviously reflected uh, from the people's really supporting it. Uh, so it's gone mm. over three times now uh, since we last talked and sort of that, that investors are really were looking forward to this uh, with the big discovery here. So what, what's the potential here? Yeah, look, I, I think well, firstly to all of our shareholders, you know, well done. Um, really happy for everybody. Um, I think there was a lot of a case of <clears throat> almost disbelief. It, it's, it's so high grade. Is it real? Uh, hopefully now that with these results from this well, I think that we've uh, satisfied that. Um, but really, what's what's the potential for this? Well, you know, we'll know soon enough. But really, I, what I can say is it's the project's off to a tremendous head start because of that exceptional high concentration. Um, as far as we're aware, it's it's the highest concentration of helium that's ever been drilled anywhere in the world. So that's a wonderful head start. So what that basically means is that, you know, in, in order to uh, support any potential production, the overall gas in place that you need to find is less than say, if the helium concentration was half a percent, right? So, you know, just the, that scale. So really it's, uh, you know, it's made that uh, uh, discovery milestone that little bit smaller, what actually needs to be found to support um, production. Um, so look, you know, for me, it's uh, the, the local support in Minnesota, everybody's been wonderful. Uh, so look, you know, I think that, you know, so long as technically we keep on going the way that we are, uh, and have been, then uh, I, I think that uh, it, it looks really bright. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we do everything that's required to realize its potential and quickly. Yeah, you talk about a bit about the potential production down the road. So you talk about the high concentration, obviously, it's very important. Mm. Is, is it, How about the size? Does the size matter? The size does matter, most definitely. So the other things that matter are size and then the, the, the flow rate as well. So how quickly does it come out the ground? Uh, we know from the previous well that uh, it is under pressure, that it was voluntarily coming out of the ground at quite a rate. In fact, uh, the original discovery, they said it sounded like it was a, a jet engine. It was that loud coming out of the ground. Um, so then the next one, as, as you say, is volume. How big is it? So you need to have certainly, you know, a, a minimum amount. So really, if you're going to go into production, you wouldn't want to do anything less than, say, five years worth of production. You really need something a bit more than that. And uh, that number is something that we'll probably know around about, 
you know, once we give the data off to the resource calculator, they'll take another month. So who knows, maybe it's going to be sort of, some, you know, sometime May, June-ish that we might have that uh, that resource result back. And I can better answer your question then. <laughs> for sure. So it uh, looks like a few things are coming on stream pretty soon. I look for the news. So investors should follow uh, your company news in the next few months for sure. Yeah, we, we really uh, recommend to everybody that uh, is interested, just go to our website. You can join our mailing list. Uh, so every news release we put out there, we, we send it with everyone. Uh, we're also quite active on X and LinkedIn. So, you know, we're, we're pretty easy to find. So, uh, yeah, certainly encourage it. Great. Uh, nice talking to you for this uh, important update. Uh, we'll probably will be speaking in uh, uh, next uh, in some of your important news coming up uh, in the future, for sure. I've got a feeling we'll be speaking again soon, Gilbert. So <laughs> thank you very much. Until next time, thank you for your time. Cheers.